cameras are not quite functional yet. They are in a fixed position. They cannot rotate, I understand. Uh, we are working on that. But uh, this is a, still a vast improvement over where we were before. And the two chiefs have uh, wireless uh, microphones now as well. And they are activated by pushing the button. You're po hopefully both red right now, so you know what to do and make yourselves green. So uh, I will not take away from Mr. Zantop's time. Good evening. Thank you. Yeah, you maybe. say make us green? Are we supposed no, to? No, you're fine. Oh. They, they oh. have red and green. Oh. We're, we're still good. My name is Dwayne Zantop. I'm in uh, Concord Drive in Plymouth. On January 6, 2021, thousands of people attended a rally at the Michigan State Capitol. There were families, veterans, pastors, and per leading prayers and patriots from all walks of life that love this country in attendance. There was no destruction of property, burning of buildings, looting, or any other acts of insurrection that we have seen in other cities that have been described as peaceful protests. I know because I was there and I have no regrets. At the April 6th meeting, Township Board meeting, Trustee Stewart described the people that attended the event as domestic terrorists. I spent six years in the military and I'm up on no means a terrorist nor any other, there were any other terrorists in attendance at this event. People that love this country are getting tired of these false accusations being called terrorists. Mr. Stewart, we are deeply offended by your remarks, and I believe you owe us an apology. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Do I get to respond? Uh, you can respond at the end of the meeting if you oh, like. Oh, okay. All right. I, mean, I, I don't I'd want to turn this to. into a political debate. My name is Dan Callahan. I live in Clemens Drive. Been a resident for 21 years. I'm a United States Marine Corps veteran. I served my country with two combat tours in Vietnam. I am a conservative Republican and support the Constitution of the United States of America. As guaranteed by the First Amendment, I have the right to free speech and the right to assemble. Mr. Stewart has no right to refer to me as a domestic terrorist because I am allowed at a rally at the Michigan Capitol. Furthermore, I question his affiliation to the Republican Party. Mr. Stewart, you owe me and every other veteran in Plymouth Township an apology. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Mr. Dempsey, 